In honor of the Hall of Fame game starting tonight, signaling the kickoff of the 2022 NFL season, I've got my official list for you guys of must-have players I want to have in my collection for 2022. Understanding that quarterbacks drive the market, I've got a few of them on our list, got a couple wide receivers, running backs, even a tight end, and a defensive player too. So let's dig in. Number one. Russell Wilson. There was a time when Russell Wilson was the number one overall QB in fantasy football circa 2017, but a man by the name of Pete Carroll had other plans. And this has been the bane of Russell Wilson's existence in Seattle with the low point being last year. For the first time in his 10 year career, he got injured and was forced to miss three games. He'd go on to have his career worst year ever. Last year, the Seattle offensive line ranked dead last in the league. But what we do know is that Russell Wilson has one of the best deep ball completion percentages in NFL history and that he can rush the ball if he needs to. Before last year, he put up about 500 rushing yards on average while also throwing for about 4,000 yards. Nathaniel Hackett stated time and time again this offseason he's going to let Russell Wilson run this offense, which is going to allow him to cook. And you add in the fact they get to play the Seattle Seahawks in primetime football, Monday night football, the first Monday night football game of the week. Russell Wilson is a must-own rookie card in my collection this year. Potentially flip right out of the gate, but I am down to hold him as he's got three to four years left in the league playing at a high level. He's been historically very durable, so he could play even longer. Brady's still playing at 45. Very likable in social media circles. Has one Super Bowl victory and another Super Bowl appearance. It's also hard to beat the fact that Russell Wilson's rookie card is the first year that Prism was made. And you look at the chart, the 52-week high was on average $900 to $950 for his PSA 10 base Prism card. Currently, that card's about $400. If you look at the PSA 9, the 52 week high was $250. We also have a fairly low pop on this card of 567. This makes it the gold standard, the most liquid card for Russell Wilson right here. And I'll tell you guys, his 2012 rookie cards are going to be the most liquid. You're going to be able to have the easiest time to move in and out of that card in the market. Number two, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson leads all qualifying quarterbacks in fantasy points per dropback over the past three years, and it isn't even close. In comparison, Josh Allen's at .58 to Lamar Jackson's .75. No other quarterback is more involved in their team's rushing attack. He averaged 29% of Baltimore's rushing attempts for 71 yards per game over the past three seasons. If this fifth-year playmaker is healthy for an entire season, a 1,000-yard rushing campaign is near inevitable. Jackson still has one of the game's top tight ends in Mark Andrews and 2021 first-round pick Rashad Bateman, not to mention Devin Duvernay. Now, he doesn't carry the same passing upside as Josh Allen or Kyler Murray, but no other quarterback projects for 1,000-plus rushing yards more comfortably than Lamar Jackson. And according to Pro Football Reference, his 2019 MVP campaign was one of the best that we've ever seen in NFL history. They also have one of the best head coaches in the league. Now, they open the season up at the Jets against the Dolphins, then they're at the Patriots and Bills. Combine this with the fact that currently his base Donruss, his optic rated rookie, his select, his prism, even cards nicer like his rookie ticket autos are going for about a third of the price of Josh Allen. And you can see by looking at these two wildly different transactions that there is a polarizing opinion on Lamar Jackson. You can see here someone in a buy it now transaction reached all the way for $1,500 on a field level silver PSA 10, whereas in auction these cards are typically going for about five, six hundred dollars. 52 week low, $516. The 52 week high, $1,500 on average. That card going into last season was about. 12 to $1,500. You can see a couple dips there under 1,000. When I pull a comparison chart of Lamar Jackson's base Donruss PSA 10, a population of 4,611. Josh Allen's base Donruss PSA 10, population of 5,500. Kyler Murray at 4,600. And Baker Mayfield at 3,600. You can see right now that Josh Allen's card on average is about $270, $280. Whereas Lamar Jackson's on average is in that $100 range. Same thing with Kyler Murray. 
Murray, Baker Mayfield, even lower, about $50. And I think Lamar Jackson should get up to about this $200 range if he gets anything back to that 2019 form. Number three, A.J. Dillon. Nicknamed Quadzilla, A.J. Dillon, 6'247 pounds and runs a 4.53 40-yard dash, giving him a 98th percentile high adjusted speed score and 97th percentile BMI. Absolutely dominant at Boston College. He would be drafted by the Packers in the late second round of 2020. He saw very little playing time behind Aaron Jones, Jamal Williams in his rookie season, but the two games he did play were impressive. Last year, Williams let go to the Lions and Dylan really broke out, earning himself 187 rushing attempts, 34 receptions to convert into over 1,100 all-purpose yards and seven touchdowns. Dylan has lived a career path that mirrors the man he was compared to coming out of Boston College, one Mr. Derrick Henry. In multiple games last year, we saw Dylan outsnap Aaron Jones, and now without Devontae Adams, Aaron Jones should be used more in the receiving game. Therefore, A.J. Dillon needs to be relied on more in the rushing game while still having soft hands ability to receive the ball. You combine that with the fact he's just a massive human being and is super young, only 24 years old. Plus, one of the coolest parts is that he is an active hobbyist. He loves to collect and invest in football cards of himself and other NFL players. You can go follow him at Dillon's Deals on Instagram. He's a very active hobbyist, which gives him an incredible little bonus to me, and I think you too. When you're looking at A.J. Dillon's rook cards, I would stick with his prism. I'd stick with stuff with the rated rookie logo, and I'd also stick with anything that is autographed and has a low serial number. Uh, things like this optic on-card autograph card are going to be very, very liquid. Wonderful cards to have in your collection. You can see how nice of a card you can get for a running back with an on-card autograph numbered out of 50 PSA 10, population 1. I believe that rookie ticket autos like this one right here, on-card autograph for $50 or best offer. Now, it's important to check those sold transactions to make sure you look up the comps. You can see right here, one was sold for a little bit less than that. So definitely want to target these in auction ideally or just be patient, save those searches, get exposure to A.J. Dillon. I think he's going to continue to ascend and appreciate in the NFL and the football card market. Number four, Stephon Diggs. The Buffalo Bills passed the ball at the second highest rate in the league last year and Stephon Diggs has been one of the best, if not the best, outside wide receivers in the league for several years years. Last year, he had the second best route win rate amongst wideouts, while also having the second most unrealized air yards and second most red zone targets. That's right, guys. He racked up 1,200 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns, but it could have been more like 1,800 receiving yards and about 15 touchdowns based on the amount of targets he received. We absolutely expect his production to achieve more of its true potential this year, heading into his age 28 season, with even more chemistry between him and Josh Allen and even more shootout games on on the schedule. Right now you can get his base prism PSA 10 for an average of $95 and has a population of only 133. If you look at the overall chart, the average for this card heading into last season was $175. If we look at those sold transactions on eBay, Bowman Chrome on card auto for $50. If you want to look at something even nicer, look at his rookie ticket autos. Here's a rookie ticket auto buyback, numbered one out of two, on-card autograph for $170, buy it now. PSA 10 that closed for $360 just a couple days ago. Here's a going for more about $78.470. That's about the same as Amari Cooper. Or you could look at some 2014 guys he's trading under like Devontae Adams, Mike Evans. Another option you could look at, guys, is super rare stuff of Stefan Diggs in the Bills logos and the Bills uniforms here from 2020 and 2021. Absolutely want to look at these cards. There's definitely tremendous opportunity here in these as Bills fans want to see him in that Bills uniform with the Bills logos on the card. Some beautiful color match stuff. Very favorable prices as well based on the scarcity. Number five, Micah Parsons. Parsons set the league on fire in his rookie season after being drafted number 12 overall. He earned first team all pro and pro bowl honors right away he was also awarded the rookie defensive player of the year and rookie player of the year awards he led the league in his position at sacks with 13 qb pressures number two overall with 39 tackles for a loss number one in the league with 20 and he's on arguably the largest market size in the nfl he's big he's fast he's explosive he's powerful he can drop back into coverage he can blitz the quarterback he can do the whole thing and he's very young being a 2021 first round rookie you have plenty of options including the rookie ticket auto from both base contenders and 
and optic i'd stick with the optic contenders those are, are coming a little bit better condition raw but you can also look at the black prism you can look at the optic on card autographs i'm looking at autograph stuff right now because that is going to be the most liquid and desirable you can see it does come with a nice little premium on it man he's a very popular player but if you were to just go look at his rookie cards that have sold recently people have a demand for him in his penn state uniform what's nice about him being on the dallas cowboys anything that has a silver prism finish that has a rainbow unicorn shine on the front like this right here is going to be desirable you can see where someone paid almost 20 dollars for this card just today so we're seeing a lot of transactions for him on a daily basis michael parsons is one of those guys that you want to have in your collection as he continues to ascend in the nfl potentially a future hall of fame defensive player right here all right guys now let us know which one of these guys were your favorite who would you like to see included in the next video because i did promise to tie it in didn't leave him out i've also got a few more players that i didn't get to include in this video that i want to so we're gonna have to do a part two we're gonna have to do a part two of must have players for your collection in 2022 so let us know in the comment section below. We'll see you in that next time. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on a single step on the quest. And I'll see you guys in that next video. Enjoy the Hall of Fame game tonight. Peace.